today to have some welcome guests with us in the celebration. I believe Congressman Tonko is here. I'd like to ask him to come up and say a few words if he would. Thank you, Joe. Good morning, everyone. It truly is an honor to stand here this evening, this evening, this morning, as we uh, pay tribute to uh, the veterans of this great nation. It is an honor to join with my fellow colleagues in government, and certainly with all of the town residents, but most importantly with the distinguished members of the Color Guard, all of the veterans who have assembled here from all branches of the military, and certainly we keep in mind those in harm's way as we speak. We hold them in our prayers and in our thoughts. To the uh, members of the committee, my heartfelt thanks and admiration for the work that you have done. This is a magnificently well done memorial, a dedication to those who have served us with every degree of devotion. So as we gather here in this place this morning, as we draw to mind rural towns like that of Florida, we understand that the honor roll does not know any bounds, including geography. Women and men from all backgrounds and persuasions and all creeds, from the smallest of rural towns to cities and metropolitan areas throughout the course of our history, have stepped into the forefront and have honored us and have defended and promoted our principles as they donned that uniform. And so with this dedication, recommit our energies to support of our military and our veterans. We know that there is no walking away from the commitment that we need to keep as it relates to our veterans and their families. <laughs> I'm reminded also, as we gather here, that there were disruptions in the lives of so many people. The comforts of home were broken as they traveled into war zones and defended us through all vintages of war and through times of relative peace. But that disruption was driven by, I believe, a sense of selflessness to a cause greater than oneself. They have been powerful in their statement in defense of this nation. They have mustered the bravery, the courage, and the resilience because of their love of country and their deep-rooted patriotism. In conclusion, might I encourage all of our veterans here and those who are not assembled with us to keep in mind the Veterans History Project that's done through the auspices of the Library of Congress. In 2000, Congress unanimously approved a project that allows for the videoing, audio and video uh, collections of anecdotes of our veterans who served in wartime. I encourage you to call our office and offer your stories. They will be brought together in this collection that is now 80,000 strong across the country. It is important for researchers, students, and generations yet unborn, to know of those stories. If there is a, a striking core that I witnessed in all of the veterans that I have talked with, is the sense of humility. That humility speaks to your greater sense of patriotism. But please share your stories. There are those who interview you and put the documentation into working order so that those stories can be collected, preserved, and made accessible to the rest of the nation. Thank you everyone for the wonderful work done here. A powerful statement of the greatness of our veterans who then drive the greatness of America. God bless America, God bless our veterans. Farley's office with us today as well.
rain or snow. Many good souls are here today to pay honor to us that Senator Farley was a veteran of the Korean War. I happen to be a Vietnam vet. My son is currently a warrant officer in the service. It's a real pleasant feeling to see the community after community pay tribute to the Rome for the services they rendered to their country to provide us with the freedoms and the privileges we kind of come to just expect. We take a lot for granted, and we shouldn't. Freedom is not free. And paying tribute to the people who have paid for that freedom, this is a strong, very strong symbol that you have provided. I do hope that many, many school buses full of future voters, future soldiers, will come by and see what you have done. I salute each and every one of you. On behalf of Senator Farley, I really cannot tell you the pride that he shares with you in this accomplishment. God bless.